We got a degenerosity video, annoying characters three. Let's get into it. Hey y'all, what's up? Hey, How doing? don't act like hey. we're sweet. You've been gone for dang near two months. You My have. Suit is already cold. All right, all right, chill. It's okay. I'm back now. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Big for half the time. So for me, it felt like a week. And what you mean, bait? You be smoking? You be doing those? What do you mean by bait? I'm just asking the question. I ain't trying to expose you. I'm just, you know, you put it out there. I want to know what you mean. During this long week, I've been reading, mm -hmm. watching, mm -hmm. learning, mm -hmm. exploring. Okay. And during my journey of self-discovery and euphoria, I remembered how much I hate certain people. Who is it this time? On my TV, we're back with more annoying characters. I've watched a few more shows and movies since my last one, and I wanted to pop a blood vessel real quick to rant about them. Before Talk I yapped, my mouth ranted for however long. Real quick, these characters don't make or break a show or movie for me. In fact, I really like most of the stuff I watch that I'm mentioning here. It's just that the characters I mentioned here, I'd love to see get ran over by a bus. We all on the same <laughs> Wi-Fi? Let's start and get connected. Caillou. I feel like so many people hate Caillou. So many people hate Caillou. I've watched so many videos, bro. The first person that ever brought it to my attention was Burleazy. He's the first person that ever said they hated Caillou. And ever since that day, I see what he mean. When I was growing up, I really didn't see what people was talking about. But now that I'm older, I see how he was annoying. Caillou. Now, remember that make or break argument I said like mm, 10 seconds ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that don't apply for him. This dude oh. makes the show on watch him. I'm surprised I ain't brought him up in the past. Because whenever I Me tried too. to watch him back in the day, you it felt like one big for commercial for Plan B. Because this dude was a team. <laughs> it seemed like every episode, this dude was whining and complaining about the most trivial stuff. And he's bald. He like you. Which one of y'all said that? Whenever he ain't crying, he's making a mess and causing problems. Blaming his sister for stuff he messed up. Dang, he's a bully. What the heck? That's your sister, your loved one. Little spoiled brat. Refusing to take baths. Always wanting to start beef with new people he meets. Being bald, this just too much to list. <laughs> I swear, I wouldn't be able to handle being this boy's dad, bro. Silly old car. Silly, silly, silly. What is it? Hey, 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 shut your dumb ass up before I beat it. Damn, I can hear you from downstairs. I can't stand it. I'm watching the game, and I got $2,000 on Caitlin Clark scoring 15 in the second half. Okay. You get with my parlay, boy. You know, child <laughs> labor might be illegal here, but I'll send your ass to China to make a boost for Sheen in a lick of a second. You already looked the part. You'll fit right in. If I have to come up here again, I'm bringing Diddy with me. What? But God, I ain't playing with you. What you mean by that? What do you mean you're bringing Diddy with you? DJ, what's going on? What do you mean? What's happening with Diddy? Is somebody in the comments going to explain? And those were just a few of the war crimes he's committed. I remember this one episode where he invited his friend over to play in his room with his toy. But she want to play doctor and he want to play dinosaurs. And when she start using his toys for doctor, he get all mad for no reason. Then he runs to his mom lying saying she took the toys. No wonder he a skinhead. This racist. Oh. Blaming that little black girl for something she ain't even do. Bro, oh. been a he accused a black girl of stealing. Oh, man. I didn't even catch that, bro. Ah, <sighs> Even Caillou, man. Bro would have been a D1 police informant if this was the 1940s. Man, I know some people are going to say, oh, he's just a kid. You know, some kids actually act the way that he does. Well, maybe some kids don't deserve to be adopted. I don't know. Because he don't look nothing like either of his parents. His daddy not bald. His sister not bald. And I'm 70% sure his mom is not wearing a weave. So that's his excuse. He's not even their kid. Send Why is he bald? Some might say I'm doing too much over this child. I don't think and you are. probably right. I just hate kids. Next, Dang. Daniel LaRusso from Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai has turned into my junk food show. I, I haven't seen it. one and two are genuinely good. But then for me, season three and onwards, the story and characters felt like they were being written by- Oh my God, the girl from Jesse. She's in this show? That's her. That's a horrible frame, but that's her. I know for a fact that's her. Being written by Disney Channel. It's gotten so ridiculous. But I love it. But one thing that stayed the same throughout the entire series is Daniel LaRusso's annoying ass. Bro is constantly trying to one-up Lawrence, the best character, even when the dude is broke, drunk, and a bum who got nothing else going on. But as soon as Lawrence opens up Cobra Kai, all because he can't get over his high school bully, being like, I, I can't have Cobra Kai be a thing. It's not the Miyagi way. And oh my God, I have never seen a man glaze another man to this capacity in all my days. This man rides Mr. Miyagi like a roller coaster. 
Damn is that his master? Talk about whether it be karate, food, or sex. This huh? dude will find some way to sex? rob Mr. Miyagi's dead meat mid conversation. Bro would do tricks, splits, and backflips on it if Mr. Miyagi told him to. I'm surprised he ain't lose all his purpose when he died. Instead, he worships Miyagi more than Jesus. Does he have Mr. Miyagi in his house? Like posters of him hanging up on his wall? If that's his master, I'ma let it slide. I'ma let it slide. Depending on how many pictures he has in that house, I'ma let it slide. If it's more than two or three, he a little weird. He might be on that, that dead meat. He might be on that dead meat. Now, I ain't watched the Karate Kid movies, so I don't know Miyagi all that well. But if you were alive today and saw how Daniel be acting and talking about him, he'd probably be like, Daniel son. Oh, you suck a hella dick. I really can't stand this grown man. He like 60, acting like this in front of his high school karate students who are like in their mid 20s. Just, just Hey, yo. Next, anybody that have made Sombra and Spawn Camps. I hate you. You make the game more unplayable than it already is and don't reproduce. Next, Damn. Starlight. I love the boys, especially this newest season. I thought it was slow at first, but at the end, I think it was just as good as season three. You don't like Starlight more than the deep? I don't like the deep. I don't know what it is about the deep. I just don't like him. Starlight, yeah, she's a little annoying, but the deep? I can't stand them. Mostly because the end of that season had that boat where Butcher and Homelander teamed up against Soldier Boy. Man, I, I, I'm still mad. Customer, sir. But I digress. We're talking Starlight. Now, in the earlier seasons, I think she was a pretty good character. And I still think she Agreed. is. But as of late, there's been moments where I'm just like, shut up. And I'm not talking about how she looked like Michael I Jackson now. I don't care about cool. that. I mean, how she got all upset at Huey because he ain't know the shapeshifter wasn't her after he proposed to her and they did a whole bunch of snuggling. I know you were chained up for days, barely getting any food and water, but you do too much. Who cares about that? It's wow. It's not Huey's fault that she's a better side bitch than you ever were. And wow. And always try to act intimidating with them glowing eyes, but nobody's scared of you. Sit down. Like, what's she gonna do? <laughs> Flash me? Sounds like a reward go ahead <laughs> and before you start pointing fingers at me I i'm not being sexist or nothing i love kimiko she bad as hell i Fire love kimiko too. too she also bad for some odd reason i would smash firecracker is that her name whatever her name is that racist bitch can get it i'm gonna put some other reparation in this bitch, all right we're gonna get our can pay back for all them years yo i don't know what it is bro i stopped liking her when she started doing that milk shit but before that i was like you know what i kind of like that look you know what i'm saying i don't know what the fuck it is i like that racist <laughs> miss newman batty and if mm -hmm. the deepest smashing sister sage then i'm just throwing my shot at her too the Facts. deep always got the best taste plus i love me a girl that can help me take over the world how can i be I... sexist when i want to have sex with all these women you can't mm. call me out and that part when she was that might be Huey sexist he... that might actually be sexist i'm a proud feminist so that might actually be sexist because you are only looking at women for sexual pleasure i'm sorry i'm being a pick me right now let me just continue the video dj you know what I'm saying? I was just trying to give another POV to what you just said. And that part when she was against Huey when he was trying to get Victoria to join the boys with them, that had me rolling my eyes so far back. Like, okay, Starlight, I get that she's foiled our plans multiple times, and we have really no reason to trust her at all. But can't you see Huey's trying to get some... <laughs> Calm down! <laughs> hey. Dang, maybe <laughs> Huey might not be a good boyfriend. I think he is. Great guy. Nah, it's Starlight. It is Starlight. <laughs> yeah, my Starlight examples are kind of nitpicky, and I still like her overall, but sometimes she just make me... <sighs> you know, next, Deku. Now, i never been a huge fan of MHA, but I've always liked the series overall. One thing I really ain't like about it, though, was Izuku Midoriya. I love AKA it. AKA Deku. Always saw him as kind of a crybaby and a doormat. Always bawling his eyes out for every little gesture someone gives him. And a doormat because how he became friends with Bakugo so quick. Like, this dude has bullied you to the point of you wanting to self-check out for years. He's a great yeah, guy. Just because he found out where I got my power from, he want to be in my life now? No, you can kick rocks and... And go kiss Kirishima. I don't huh? want to be friends with you. I don't want you around me. I don't care if you know my secret. I will 1 million percent Delaware Mississippi smash on you if you tell anyone or talk to me. Is what Deku should have done. Instead of crying tears of joy when Bakugo says, hey, you weren't completely dog during training today. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. But this could have all been fine, you know. I've seen the power of friendship done well in stories, so maybe in the end it would have all been worth it. However, the manga recently ended, and honestly, I think Horikoshi is either trolling or hates Deku just as much as me, cause this was weak! The final chapter had everybody in his class end up as successful big star heroes mm -hmm. 8 years in the future, while Deku lost his quirk working at UA as a teacher. Oh, that's what people was talking about with Deku with the McDonald's hat on. I had no idea. I just got spoiled. But honestly, I would never in my life watch or read My Hero Academia, so I'm not that mad. But damn, you lost your quirk? That's the only thing you had riding for you. That's like losing everything right then, right there. Was it at least a good trade-off? Did he save the world? Like, did he get a good payout? Is he at least successful as a teacher? Tell me. Huh? I thought the story was building up to you being known as the greatest hero. Not my PE teacher. Why isn't he a hero no more? We see motherfuckers be strong and crazy fast with no support of their quirk. Stain was faster Facts. than every hero he came across, including Lita, and he known for speed. Mirio is strong as hell, not because he can face through walls, he just be hitting the gym. Deku mm -hmm. could have done this. Imagine a hero as fast as Stain, as strong as Mirio, with a gun, and the aim of snipe. That's at least a top five strongest hero in what? the MHA burst. Oh, Don't what the heck? None of that requires no quirk either. So there's no excuse. This is not even the nail on the coffin. He don't even end up with Ochako. They ain't Damn. no sign of them being together. So you telling me at the end of the entire story, Deku is quirkless, bitchless, and on a teacher's salary? Maybe Bakugo was right. You should kill your. This ending is so disappointing for Deku. He gone through hell and back for this outcome. Nah, also, I'm not gonna lie. One for all. Man, this was all for nothing. And at the Damn. final chapter, he's saying, Well, I may be quirkless, but at least I made use of it when I had it, and I can encourage people with their own quirks too. So there's something awesome about that. Main character ass. Like, damn. Like, Tanjiro ass character. That just made me want to hate you more, bro. You ain't got to be happy about everything. You ain't got to find joy in everything. You could be mad about something, bro. You could be mad about something. That's why I can't stand him. He's always so happy and positive. And this is him two panels later. Yeah, he don't even agree with himself. He coping. <laughs> at least give my boy a million dollar severance check every year he saved the world for christ's sake but nah we got this w welcome to ronald's that's what, what i've seen be ordering today yeah can i get that four for four meal and a whopper without a big man that'll be 12.97 yeah no problem would just you put like my just put my fries in a bag little bro that's what i heard that's what i heard bro would you like your receipt nah no thank you y you know I used to be a hero once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, Put my fries I back saved in the, the bag. From <laughs> total bro. Annihilation. Yeah, and I'm LeBron James. Can you give me my damn food? I haven't feed my kids in two days. And you only got them a four for four? Next, sadness from inside out. I can agree with this one. Bro, just. Wow. I'm even gonna sugarcoat it. It'd be better off she was dead. She was kill. so annoying in the first movie, causing all the problems, making Riley damn near bipolar. Because she was away depressed. From home. All because she wanted to feel included. Nobody want to be sad. That ain't a good feeling. Who chooses to be sad in general? It's never a good time. Like when I'm joyful, I could be smiling, laughing about my day and stuff. And then I remember, oh wait, I'm me. Oh. I think you're a great guy. Nobody likes that feeling. Nobody should go through that pain, those emotions. Normally, I would just want them to make Riley think of the idea, hey, just take an antidepressant to make sadness just disappear. She's a kid. But I know Joy would most likely disappear She's first, a kid. So that ain't an option. So instead, sadness, just sit your ass in the corner and we'll call you over when Riley has her first breakup or when she's at her grandma's funeral, whatever. But in the meantime, don't bother Riley or anybody else in the world. And if I catch you messing up anybody's day, it'll be on sight. I'm just gonna <laughs> go up to the next sad person I see and just... <laughs> Next, Skylar White, Breaking Bad, known as one of the greatest TV shows. Should I watch this chat? It's a lot of things I haven't watched, and this is one of them. I keep hearing about it. Breaking Bad is so good. Breaking Bad this, this, that, and third. I just watched Ozark, and I feel like I'm a great guy for that. Should I add this show to the list? Also contains one of the most hated characters ever, Skylar, Walter's wife. Hated by almost the entire fan base so much, it feels like she's universally hated. And I think... What you think? She's not bad at all. 
I actually like Skylar. When I finished the series and reflected on the things she went through and her actions, I think almost all of them are justified. At the start of the show, Skylar is left in the dark for so long about what Walter's doing, why he's suddenly gone all day. She's worried sick about him thinking he's cheating. Come to find she's out a woman. he's selling that good stuff. From then on, she's generally never happy again. She can't divorce Walt and only working together with him to keep what's left of this family together. Oh snap, it's kind of like Ozark low key but they became something crazy in life i don't even want to spoil y'all but just know ozark is a great watch you should watch it you probably already watched it i'm the one that's late her morals just to do what she thinks is best for her children only for it to all end in disaster and walter is the one who put her in this situation in the first place she feels trapped yeah there's a few things she's done that's a little cringe you know that birthday song forever be haunting me and yeah she cheated on walt but that was only after she found out about his business and wanting the divorce and also the refrigerator scene happened did what? you forget that happened what's, what's refrigerator what's she do she the, the refrigerator dawn. i think she's a great character i'm only bringing her up because she's known as the worst how you gonna hate skylar for just being a nagging wife and praise walter like hell yeah let jane die kill that kid it's all for the good of the business oh yeah <laughs> y'all yeah, directing your hate to the wrong person because how is she the most hated when Walt Jr. exists. Oh my God. What he be doing? Nigga, so, so what you saying is, you're a liar. Oh my God. What? He's just selling meth. You acting like he's selling crack. Or robbed a Walmart It's all something. bad. Release my nigga. Release my nigga. He making Bro, a what? big deal out of nothing. If I found out my dad is in the empire business, I'm going to be like, wait, you sell what? That white stuff. How much money you make? Wait, that he's much? selling he's selling crack, and right? You're not sharing? You made me pay for your food yesterday and you had this much? You greedy bastard!